I came back to Cyberpunk 2077 and I realized, man, is this new Katana build amazing. It's a lot of fun and I think it's very, very powerful. And that's the topic of today's video. I want to sh show you two very, very similar, similar versions how you can play a Katana build in the new Cyberpunk 2077 2.0. Let's go! Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back. Welcome everybody and glad to be back with a new cyber cyberpunk video as mentioned you can play this build which is very very similar into different ways but first of all let's check the skill tree and the skill tree um, you maybe saw it is a little bit new and we are focusing of course in 20 points of reflex or we put 20 points in reflex and what you can do here is you're looking for all the stash abilities. So with stashing you get mitig mitigation and with mitigation you are lowering the incoming damage and also you are closing the distance to your enemies a little bit better and you are f faster, you can restore stamina and that's really really handy. Furthermore what you can do, I am not doing it actually quite often, maybe it's because I'm playing my level 50 and now 53 in Phantom Library character, you can also um, skill this bullet um, reflecting with your sword. I'm not a big fan of because that's not what you want to do with this build. With this build you want to have a very high attack speed, very, very high crit and then facing your enemy. So with this blocking projectiles I'm not a quite a big fan of this one and also you can do some blade runner with allows to give you a finisher with your blades which is really nice also increasing attack speed and lowering stamina costs. Then furthermore we are going also into the technical abilities. We are putting 20 points in here. The reason is quite simple. Not only we are using some of the cyberware which is really nice, um, increasing capacity and all that stuff, we are using the edge runner ability and with edge runner it's also an additional buff that's really really amazing besides of your um, active cyber world, which we will take a look later on. Then we take 20 points into cool. What you can do here you can of course skill into this let's say more gunslinger, gunslinger or you can also choose going into this gunslinger build. I for myself said I want to play katana with a little bit of throwing knives, they are very nice and also sometimes you have to close the distance. I will play katana and katana only and with throwables for closing or breaching the distance. So what you're doing here as well is skill everything because you have enough points which will increase your movement speed, mitigation chance and with the throwing knives you will adapt bleeding poison and all that kind of stuff. Furthermore you get, you are able to, to crouch sprint which is also really handy and all in all this will help you um, act a little bit faster, attacking from behind, attacking from outside the combat, doing a lot of damage with your throwing knife if you want to and then you are going to finish everything with your blade and that's basically it what you are going to do. So there are two ways to play this katana throwing knife build. The first one is with the apogee Zen Devastan. This is incredible because you can stay in the Zen Devastan slow time mode for a very long time. Why is that so? Because when you are neutralizing an enemy you will get you get 20% extended duration. Furthermore crit damage, crit chance and headshot damage is increased and you don't have a real cooldown. So you can press it and then you can get back in kind of you will see it later. The other way what you can do is to take the Militech Berserk. The Berserk is also really nice because when you activate it you are invulnerable to damage. Also you get 30% attack speed, minus 100% stamina cost and 20% movement speed increasing damage at low health as well and you get 25% health for each neutralized enemy which is really good downside is this only this only helps for 12 seconds 12 seconds you are in this berserk mode so like mentioned two ways to play i am tending more into this apogee mode because um your difficult so to say fights are longer than 12 seconds most of the time and you can extend with the with how the apogee works with your high attack speed you can extend this duration as well. Also, in your circulatory system, you have three very handy um, cyber words that you can put in. First of all is the micro rotors, which increase 
at 23% melee attack speed and also crit chance. On top of that, the heal on kill, which is really nice because you will get a lot of damage, especially if you're outside your Zendavis then or in your outside your Berserk mode. Heal on kill is pretty handy. And the adrenaline booster, more stamina when you're, meal when you're neutralizing an enemy and also increasing crit chance, crit damage and all that kind of stuff. Also the handle wrap, pretty good because this one increased cro uh, crit chance for throwables and you get the cool attuned, which will help you to increase headshot, weak spot damage, melee damage, all that kind of stuff. So really, really nice stuff over here. In terms of armor, um, I only think the pain editor is okay because you get lower, you lower your damage. And what's really good is the optical camo because if you activate this one, this is also what you skill in your skill tree. You reduce, you are reducing the visibility. You get bonus stealth damage, and this is what you're looking for before you enter the fight. Nervous system, also quite interesting because you can get the stabber for better crit chance, um, increasing melee damage, really good. This is what you're looking for. And on top of that, the adrenaline converter, more movement speed when you're entering combat, which is really nice. I'm not relying on the operating system. Also some add-ons like the adrenaline converter is, is really good. Um, combining with the synthetic accelerator slows time when the enemy detects or detection reads 50%, pretty good. And you get also this weak spot damage and you get some bonus death damage, all that kind of stuff. So nervous system also adds up really, really good what you try to do. Then with the dense marrow, you also increase the melee combat damage. You are getting more stamina. And then we're looking for a little bit of mitigation and crit chance. Arms are not really interesting. The mechatronic core damage against drones, robot max turrets is pretty good. New to module reducing cooldown and you get some armor on top of that. Um, I guess you can feel free and try a little bit out what you prefer. Then one of the most important parts is of course what kinds of weapon do you use. Um, when I played the Satori and another katana were pretty good. For this build, I would definitely go with the Biaku. So how do you get this amazing katana? It's quite simple, very easy to get. What you have to do is completely com completing all gigs from Wakako Okada. Um, the last gig, it's called Getting Warmer. You will get it if you are close um, at the location of this gig. I will show you a sequence where you can find it. And afterwards, if you are finishing this gig, you will have the amazing Biaku katana in your hideout so quite easy to get besides of your katana what are you looking for you are looking for a throwable weapon throwable knife with a high in best case 200% headshot multiplier so looking for a very decent knife um, you are entering combat with crouch slide and then throwing a knife to make a headshot critical headshot damage then all that stuff crits and you are ready to rock. Also, last words for this katana build. I think it's stronger because of this high attack speed, high movement speed, and with this very high time of staying into this San Deviston stance, it's crazy. Also, if your edge runner hits your own, you're a crazy killing machine. And with this, yeah, everything rounds up with entering and getting detected, slow, slowing time, increasing your movement speed. I like that build a lot. I'm a big fan of katanas in, in the cyberpunk area, in the cyberpunk world, so to say. And with cyberpunk 2077 point... And with cyberpunk 2.0, I think it's even more funnier. For me, it's right now the most funniest build to play. Testing edge runner, t testing thermal katana all the way along. Um, alongside this build and yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with katana. Also, let me know what you think about like mentioned, a lot of fun playing that build. And write in the comments below what you think about those builds. Have you tried it by yourself? What do you think about 2.0? And don't forget to subscribe to help to grow with this channel. So guys, see you around.